time, some brand new Fox polling. Our first taken since the election. There's a lot in here, too. First, a majority of Americans, 59%, think the Russian hack did not matter. While 32% think it did help Mr. Trump get elected. Stephen Hayes, senior uh, editor in chief, Weekly Standard, and Fox News contributor. How you doing, sir? Good day to you. Morning, Bill. Uh, so you're at 60% in that poll. That uh, doesn't appear the story is changing minds, Steve. It doesn't. I mean, I think there's the potential, given uh, the other poll results that we have in this same Fox News poll, showing that the American people have high confidence in the CIA generally. I think there's the potential that you could see more people start to believe this. But as of right now, it doesn't seem that the American people, at least those we polled in the Fox News poll, are buying the story. More on that poll now. Question about Donald Trump's dealings with Russia. This is what we found. 50% find that he has been too accommodating. So we're going to have to see where this relationship grows um, and goes. And either way, it will be intriguing, Steve. Yeah, it will be. Look, I think there's a reason that 50% of the people that we polled think that Donald Trump was too accommodating. If you look at his rhetoric throughout the campaign, of course, he was on, on both sides of many issues as the, the campaign unfolded. But the one place that he was remarkably consistent was in this warm, <clears throat> excuse me, this warm embrace of Vladimir Putin and a willingness to try to seek better relations with Russia if he were elected. I think many Americans see that that's too accommodating, especially given the expansion uh, aims of Vladimir Putin and Russia over the past four years. Okay, but you just heard the White House. I mean, that, that's an unusual thing. I mean, th th this honeymoon has lasted 12 hours, Steve. You know, Josh yeah. Ernest is saying that Trump obviously knew the Russian hacks were benefiting him during the election. And then you just heard from Peter King saying, listen, if you've got the goods, show it to us. We want to see it. Yeah, I think the comment from Peter King is actually the important comment here. What, what you're having is a campaign of leaks. I mean, you're, you're, the NBC re, uh, report that uh, Steve and Martha, or Peter and Martha just discussed, that's a serious allegation that Vladimir Putin himself directed the hacking to interfere with the U.S. election. It's sourced to two senior U.S. intelligence officials. If they have that information, it is incumbent upon them to provide it to the American people, to provide it to the oversight committees in Congress, and I would argue to do it in an open session. I mean, if I were Chairman Devin Nunes and I were uh, seeking more information, I would insist that these hearings take place in an open session so that the American people can see the evidence that we've accumulated and evaluate it on its merits rather than relying on leaks from a CIA that I have to say has been rather political uh, throughout the Obama well, just administration. Just one more fine point on this. These electors want to see this evidence by Monday before they vote on December 19th. That, that's a five day window. Uh, based on what we're hearing I, I don't expect it to happen by then so if no. that's the case then this drags into 2017 correct it does drag into 2017 and look the issues the issues at the core of this are important enough that they should be continued to to be discussed in 2017 because they matter to the sort of the fundamentals of our democracy